Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Sorry if I get glitchy, I will sound glitchy for the near future because of an issue with the computer. But anyways, I will still try to produce the best content I can for you guys, so let's go fight this rainbow. You made it here. There must mean you won the first battle. Good job! But buckle up because now you'll be facing me in battle, and I am more skilled. Both of us will be a s have a certain amount of points at the start of the battle, just like the previous fight, but if the points reach zero, I lose. If the hit points reach zero, I win. Just like the previous battle? Okay, so it is like that. The last battle, you were forced to have a slippery moment trick active at all times. This, however, another trick could be asked, the one that makes you jump in a weird perspective. It's hard to describe, okay? Just as my friends did, I'll be using a rainbow block and a place it in a way that allows you to reach the top of the arena. Or a button you press if the cannonball will be launched at you, make me lose a hit point. While you're making it to the top, I will follow you and use my attack to try to take you down. What are my attacks to be fourth wall? A quick cover a lot of space, dodging is no easy task. Another task is Buzzsaw. This one to, has an arc movement and is very careful if you step near it to avoid getting hit. Before you have to listen to some of the battle, it's all about the precision. You will often have to be careful plan when how they move. Take your time in figuring how to do certain sections. Also remember that you can dash by holding shift on the space bar. Now you are well informed, we'll try the following beginning. I hope you're ready because I'm going to give it my all. So that sounds difficult. Oh, we're dropping all the way to the bottom. This took over 8 hours to beat. I did it! I fucking did it, guys! I'm gonna cut right here. Oh my god, guys, you cannot believe how long I've been doing this. I've been doing this since like 12 a.m. in the fucking night, and it's like 9 o'clock right now. Oh my god, it's 9 a.m. I did- I was working on this for fucking like 9 hours straight. Oh my god. You actually defeated me? That's just stunning. The beginning or- the beginner in the style of the battling, you are skilled, but you are far greater skilled if you wish to beat the next rainbow. Please don't beat that art. And I did upgrade it to the next version, guys. Oh, what you say is story from White Rabbit? Oh, yeah, I remember something. Did come here a while ago and asked me and my pal to tell a story for some time. And people in White Rabbit was talking about I can't believe it. I didn't notice it earlier. You. Well then sit right, pay close attention because it's story time. Some time ago, White Rabbit had his last conversation with Redbird. He ended up discovering something. He immediately went to af after Redbird to let him know about what he learned. Flashback! Redbear, I bring forth excellent news. Contrary to what I had earlier said there is indeed a way to rescue the Guardians from their demise, so we're learning it. Whoa, really? Amazing. That way. In what way is this? After our conversation, I've been doing research on possible methods of preserving the lives of Guardians. I was unwilling to accept there was nothing that could be done. I considered questioning the death man if he had any information that could be used, but upon visiting our house, he was nowhere to be found. Despite uh, being unable to find him like I intended, I found something that would turn out to be exactly what I was seeking. The fodder containing several a folder containing several death man notes. Ask in description the power of Freddy had the form of protection surrounding Guardians Brenton, preventing the Guardian buttons that prevent the creation of portals. Much to my delight, if the the line that the way to deactivate the protection by utilizing special clocks. With these clocks, the protection shall vanish, making it possible to create portals in your buttons. However, these exist limitations to the clocks, they only nullify protection of a small range. Therefore, the portal protection surrounding the entire chocolate is and cannot be deactivated, as it's too far of it's too far to grant a stick ale. 
That being said, a little concerned as pressing a button in the area to resolve the production. Inclusion 3 can truly be defeated, but the Guardians be fair. Awesome! Do you know what you're throwing these clocks would be the solution to our problems? And okay, okay. Where do we find these clocks? Let's go right now and see if we can get this with as soon as possible. I do not have to answer this question. Clocks are hidden across the animatronica. According to that notes, there are three total. One in Fasper Hills, one in Choppy Woods, and one in Dusty Fields. Given the three clocks that each deactivate for protection, we luckily precisely what is needed. Three of the clocks, three guardians. Wait, what? Each clock only deactivates one protection? But only three clocks? What is the fourth guardian? Like rumors claim. We wouldn't be able to save the person. We can't leave everyone out. The worry rapper. I believe what is the identity of the fourth guardian. If there really is one, my my calculation credit, I'm confident they are the guardian out of danger. Oh really, could you share this with me? Or who you think the guardian is? And how you're so sure this person is in danger? No. Fine. I guess it's just, I'll just have I guess I'll just have to trust that you know what you're talking about. Anyways, we gotta find those clocks. There's one in Pepper Hill, so there shouldn't be too hard to find where it is. Ah, uh, by the way, does this team that is going after Freddy already know about these clocks? No, I have not told anyone besides you about the clocks. Alright, let, let me tell you something, White Rabbit. Earlier I was thinking about helping those guys out, you know, guarding them throughout their journey. They're going to do super courageous, and they need all the support they can get. I told them frequently during their quest, leading them to the right direction. I will also tell each the search for the clock so they can spare the guardians. Wherever they find a clock, I will bring them to you so you can open up a portal next to the button. Great, this is the first step in restoring order animatronica. It's good to see if hope will once more. So figure out how we were able to save the guardians. And this is where the second part of the story wraps up, and that's pretty nice, wasn't it? Both of them seem happy. Curious, I vaguely remember the final part of the story not being that happy. Well, I uh, will have to ask my buddy in the next area, the last part, because I forgot all about it. It's nice to see the courageous team that we talked about in the story. See you later. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so shocked. We're saving right now. But, oh my god, guys, you don't know how long, oh my god, I spent on that. Like, it got to a point I was screaming at the fucking screen. I don't want to include it because you're going to have to watch hours of fucking content, and there's no good spot. I was looking up tutorials, seeing how people did it. It looked like there was no true way. It just looked like people were doing their own stuff. It's the next Guardian. Okay, let's see what this one fucking wants. Like the bitch it is. Hey, you. Hey, you there. I'm impressed by you making it past both my friends. I'm the last rainbow you'll have to fight for. Before you can lay limbs on that power orb. I, look, I don't brag, but if I did brag, I would say that I am the master of style battling, and my abilities are greater than both my friends combined, and I'm truly trash you guys to eat. Good thing I don't brag. Yeah, don't brag. Don't be discouraged, though. You still stand a chance against me, even if it happens to be a very small chance. Anyways, allow me to salvage the battle we'll be talking about. The point to be, and anyone. To okay, this is the exact same. For this battle, you the trick to be activated at all times. Once you start moving in one direction, you can't stop moving until you hit a wall. Similarly to the previous battle, I will place a rainbow block all over the arena. You will be able to have your way to reach a ring. Press and launch to cannonball if I lose one hit point. While my rainy teeth attack, I will summon several clocks to spread out and across the arena. And if you stand on the cloud, you will be struck by lighting. I will also use fourth wall to attack if you get hit by it. Not only you'll take damage, but you'll also be stunned temporarily and stop moving. Before we start, I will I will share with you some advice about the battle. And believe me, you're definitely going to need it. The battle relies heavily on timing. You must always move in the right moment if you wish to get at the upcoming challenges. This is obvious not going to be easy for you. You should pay close attention to patterns and analyze how best opportunity to move. Also, if you should try to get good and get good, you 
you motherfucker. I remember that from Final Fantasy. Fuck boys. Fuck you. Feel of surprise of a movement so that you can have a better idea of when you start should start moving to avoid obstacles. That sums it up. Let's not waste any more time and jump in action. This is gonna be fun. Oh my god. This is guys. Go, 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 Yes! Yes! You are a bitch! A motherfucking bitch! You were easier! You were easier! Get on my level! Get on my fucking level! Huh? 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 How's it possible? You managed to beat a whole trio of rainbows in the style of battling? This was never done before. You won against all of us? You've never seen such unusual amount of talent. Everyone before a very special group of people. Yes, we deserve to keep our power work. Let's meet up with the two other rainbows in the next area and head and I'll and we'll hand you the power work. Huh? What'd you say? A white rabbit telling the story? Whoa, you are the people he was talking about. I was standing there thinking white rabbit was pranking us and the team described it never exists at all. That explains why we're so good in battling. You're a team of heroes. So of course you would be skilled. If it will if it was the way it is, then I guess I must do what I promise, listen closely. Now, I'll tell you the third and final part of the story. Some of us from the previous conversation, White Rabbit and Red Bear had told about special clocks that could save guardians. Red Bear came went went to talk to him once more, wanting to share some news. Hey White Rabbit, what's up? Your team is going to take Freddy down and recruited plenty of members already. So now it seems like they have finally be began their quest. Isn't that exciting? I'm aware of their recent progress, evidently, and I wish to a well on their journey, but I yet can't be the but concerned. Don't waste your energy getting worried. Root for them instead. They face many dangers, and I'm sure they can handle obstacles that come their way. I am maintaining myself hopeful 
but I, my wife is turned boy. I think that there a chance to fail our mission. You cannot be sure that we'll make it through all the challenges. This is called optimism, White Rabbit. What's the point of focusing on the bad if we are all in a gloomy mood because Freddy for long enough? We should add. We should be optimistic, but cautiously, understanding, be prepared for all possible outcomes. For instance, have you considered that the clocks may be hidden to a degree and integrity that will require weeks or perhaps months for them to be found? Don't tell me I started in April. And, report, and Freddy will already be, have taken over, and if located in areas, it will be too far for troublesome for the reach. What I fear is that where we'll be able to case, the team will give up on gathering the clocks and, and choose the easier path, bringing the end to the Guardians. What are you saying, dude? Of course they wouldn't give up. Do you have any idea just to determine how these guys are? They should keep searching for clocks no matter how hard it be. And I'm getting from all this rambling that you believe in them. I am not once stated that I do not believe in team potential. They are determined, but they are not perfect. They might be desisting. You're wrong, White Rabbit. I know these guys. They are most determined people I have ever met. They have never turned our back on a challenge no matter what. You know what? I'm gonna tell you the team of I'm gonna tell the team about the clocks and they could save the guardians, but now I'm gonna do the exact opposite. I'll tell them to kill the guardians instead. And we'll hear my instructions to kill the guardian, but knowing them they'll ignore it and search for a way to try to save the guardians. You know why? Because they never give up on doing the right thing. They will figure find out the clocks on their own. Save all the guardians and then save animatronic but only then will you realize you were wrong to doubt them. Red Bear, do not be so improving. Are you willing to put the lives of guardians in greater risk just to prove a point? <laughs> what if the team actually follows your orders? What if they are un unable to find any method in rescuing the guardians? Ah, uh, there you go again. I'm not putting anyone's life at risk because there is no risk. I know they won't follow my orders and keep- <laughs> I've been enjoying this man the entire time. I think it is not helpful, but this man had been doing a 360 on me and give up because I am determined they are, you'll see. I thought White Rabbit was my boy. No, Red Bear is my boy. Clearly, convincing you is out of reach. I cannot stop from going through with irresponsible acts. Just just know that if anyone perishes, I shall leave Avatraka and never return. I wouldn't want to live in a place where nothing in the shadow of what it was. You're not going anywhere because everything will turn out alright. I wish you could understand what I think the team's passing by. I'm going to go talk to them and start guiding them by. Loba's right here listening to this shit. Loba's like, you put my life at risk, bitch! And in the collusion, the story, as you expect, you're hearing all my friends that I were left in confused, so few questions. First, we asked, he wanted that the team know about the story? White Rabbit said that you want you guys to know about the story because you thought you deserved to know the reason why Red Bear started guarding you and Red Bear did not wish for the Guardians to die, even though he afforded you to kill them. Afterwards, he asked why he can't just tell the story himself. He told us that in case of any guardian die, he would leave Amtronica and never talk to anyone there again. That's why he asked people to tell the story for him in case he did end up leaving. Well, we then asked why specifically three of us just asked for the favor. And at first, we thought we must have because we really were cool, but nope. He just started walking around and asked the very first people he saw. We couldn't think of any more questions to ask, so we said goodbye to White Rabbit and never saw his face again. I wonder how he's doing. Alright everyone, I'll be reuniting with the other two rainbows in the next area. Beat us there and earn your prize power work. Oh my god, guys, that is so much story thrown on us. We were intended to kill the Guardians at the original path. I thought the game always I thought we fight them like they wouldn't actually die. I just thought White Rabbit would become lock unlockable if I do all that. I hate the yellow one. That nerd fucking shit. He deserves to die. 
There you are. There's a lot of fun time together, didn't we? We chat, told you a story, we battle, absolutely demolished us in fighting out that we thought we were professionals at. Truly unforgettable experience. All of us were amazed at your incredible fighting skills. We thought, if they are this skilled in style battling, we'll never even, they'll never even try before. Imagine how good they must be in a regular battle. No. No! You probably tell where this is going. We challenge you to another battle. This is coming the typical way. We might prefer our style, but we got a couple of tricks in this game in our sleeves for the style as well. This is just the fun and games. You already earned the power orb. We just want to curious to know how talented you are in something you're actually used to. As soon as the battle over, the orb will be yours. No! No, I'm not ready! I don't have my chips on! Thank God, I always Thank God, I always keep on all straight on, but I'm not making it. Okay, we're gonna retry that this time with our actual fighting fucking chips. Okay, we can't retry. I'm gonna turn on auto neon wall, low defense, auto upgrade, and black work wall. Okay, now we should be a lot more powerful. Oh my god, they should have told us they were going to battle us beforehand! This wasn't their style! It was the whole point of not fighting them like this. We're still gonna lose this. I hope not. Oh, one's already dead. That's good. We fucking did it. They should have told us that. What a spectacle perform that was. Just as we expected you would. You fought with even more adaptiveness. Thanks to White Rabbit's story, we found out that your team was formed that you could embark on the mission to save your home. What a horrible, what a heroic thing to do. You really have the strength of skill of true warriors. Well, it's been fun, but it's time to say goodbye. We kept waiting for this power orb for way too long. Make sure you pay us a visit in the future. Or you get a chance, okay? Here's our power orb.
Oscar. Ha! F I. What kind? What better kind of a gift you give me this power orb? Oh, you shouldn't have. Actually, yes, you should have. Because I am the rightful owner of this orb. Hey, don't you come in here causing trouble, Rainbear. And what with the rightful owner talk? Just because you've been after the power for the last time doesn't give you the right to take them from others who had them first. For the sake of the argument, let's pretend I'm a big fan of hats. I love all sorts of hats. Regular hat, top hat, bottom hat. You name it. Would give me a right to steal the hat just because I wanted a particular hat type for a long time. That's a very nice analogy. There's one problem with it. Your analogy sucks. There's a big difference between the randos stealing that and talking to power orbs. It's a destiny to become the greatest trickster of the world. It's obvious power orbs are destined to be claimed by me. Huh? Where did they go? Hmm. They must have agreed and what they realized the error their way is and decided to go spend their lives doing something amenable and getting in the way of my plans. It took them enough. I must now leave this before they change their mind. I'm so confused. How did they leave? Oh, I get it now. I see what's going on. Wait, Rain Bear, you can't leave us just yet. Have you lost grip on reality, Bizarre Rainbow? Of course I could leave. I'm about to just do that. There's nothing you can do to stop me unless you hold back down these hands and stop me from leaving. This is ha ha ha. No, no, hold on. You need to stay because we have something fun to tell you. Spare us a few seconds to hear us out. Do you know that rainbows can take the blow of a cannonball barely? Move an inch? That's because we're always floating. Do you always have to control midair? Meanwhile, earthbound people like you will send flying if you hit by a cannonball. What? You wanted to stick around to listen to useless trivia? I'm dying to know the series of events that led you to think I could care to slice about this. Don't you think it's too much, Rain Bear? We're just buying time. Buying time? Wait, what's that sound? Damn. Aha, uh -huh, what a brilliant idea to get Rain Bear out of there. I didn't even expect that. Little bit, Adam, dude, all of you, good fucking job. Because that was unexpected by me, the player. Aha, uh -huh, what brilliant way to get our Rain Bear out of here. We noticed you heading for the cannonball, so we stalled them to give you time to press the button. The cannonball may put a halt on Red Bear's plan to take this power or he'll come back in a moment to pull some trick to take it again. So you better grab it before he gets the chance to do that. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, now I actually earned it. Not only strong and skilled, but you're all very clever. Evidenced by the way you got rid of Rainbeer. We never... We, we have never before seen a team quite as awesome as yours. Have a great one. Have a good one. Damn, that's a lot of story. And I mean, honestly, I love this game and hate it with these rainbows. But anyways, we... So, there's seven power orbs, I'm pretty sure. We track down one. Rain Bear has the other. That is, it's a race for the last five orbs. So now we're at an even playing field. So this is going to be the end of the episode. It might be a little one or short because I'm going to have to cut down a lot. But I apologize for this. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, please consider leaving a like. It really does help my day. Consider subscribing. Help us kill the road to 100. Sorry for that. And also, make sure to comment what you want to see. Sadly, I had to deny one thing. Poop Garden. It didn't look entertaining for you guys. Sorry, one game I had to deny. But any other game, please ask and I will check it out. See you all in the next episode. And adios, my amigos. See you all in the next episode. I just repeated myself. You guys have heard nothing. And also, sorry for any audio issues. Uh, my computer's kind of messed up after I actually pulled out the graphics card. So, I apologize. Anyways, now I ask you goodbye, my amigo.